Do solar panels work when the power goes out? It's probably one of the most common questions that come in, especially for folks that have already invested in solar panels, only to find out that the system doesn't work during a grid blackout. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about the three different types of solar power systems and which ones actually work when the power goes out. All right, so we're talking about do solar panels work when the power goes out? Uh, and the answer is it depends. And it depends on which type of solar power system you have. Now, when you're talking about solar, you're talking about three main types of solar power system. The first and the most popular is what we call a grid tied solar power system. And with a grid tied solar power system, your solar system works in parallel with the utility service. And so during daylight hours, when the solar panels are producing, you can be directly consuming the solar energy within your house and any excess solar energy can actually be, be pushed back out or sold back to the power company for full price credit. And then during the evening hours, you just pull back the energy you need using the credits that you built up during the daytime hours. Now, of course, this assumes that your utility has some sort of a solar buyback program. Um, in some rare cases, the, the solar system has to be configured to consume energy in the home only without ever sending anything back to the power company. But most utilities have some sort of a solar buyback program. So that's the grid tied system. And the grid tied system, the main goal is to eliminate or offset your electric bill. However, it's not gonna provide any emergency backup power. Now, the second type of solar system is the off-grid system. And an off-grid solar system is comprised of solar panels and batteries or a bank of batteries. Um, and in most cases, an inverter as well. Although technically you could have an off-grid system where the solar panels charge the batteries and then you could run loads directly off the battery. Think of like 12 volt appliances that you might plug into a, uh, a vehicle adapter. But most, most off-grid systems, if you're talking about an off-grid home, is going to have an inverter also, which will convert the low voltage direct current uh, from the solar panels or the batteries and convert it into high voltage alternating current, which could then be used to feed an electrical panel where you could then run circuits just like you would in a normal home. So with an off-grid system, you have solar, you have battery storage, and usually you have an inverter as well. And that type of system, as, as the name implies, is, is a truly off-grid system, meaning it can run completely independent of the electric grid or in places where there is no access to the electric grid. Now, the third type of system is what we call the hybrid solar power system. And very simply, the hybrid solar power system is able to operate in both modes. So if the grid is available, it's able to power the home with solar and if needed, sell excess solar power back to the power company for credit. But if the utility was ever to go down, the system can switch to an off-grid mode where it can run the entire home or a portion of the home using solar and battery power only. So in most cases, if your solar system has batteries, then it can function when the grid is down. Now, in 2022, we started seeing a number of other alternatives that offered some sort of a sunlight backup option. And the idea with a sunlight backup option was that you could run certain circuits within the house if utility service was down directly off your solar inverter, meaning that if it was daylight hours and you had solar power coming in and the inverter was able to output power, it could put power out either to a dedicated outlet uh, or in some cases with the Enphase IQ8 sunlight solution, you could have up to four circuits that would run directly off solar if the grid was out. Now, the drawback with, with these sunlight backup options is that there, there is no buffer. There is no battery to act as a buffer. So let's say it's, it's a sunny day, but a cloud blows over well, the cloud blows over, the solar panel power output goes, goes down, and then your refrigerator shuts off. And then the, the cloud goes away, then the refrigerator comes back on. And so, although in theory, the idea of having a direct sunlight backup option made sense, in practice, they ended up really not working out. And in some cases, le leading to you know, putting wear and tear, unnecessary wear and tear on the appliances when you have the power going up and down, up and down, as the weather conditions change. So as a general rule of thumb, if your solar system has battery storage, it's going to be able to work in a off-grid or in a backup power mode. Now, I know many homeowners purchase solar power systems under the false conception that if the power went out, as long as there's sunlight, you're gonna have secure power within the home. 
And part of that was just deceptive sales tactics. Um, part of it was just a lot of the salespeople just didn't understand how these systems work and that your, your typical grid tied solar system with no batteries is not capable of providing emergency backup power, even if it is a bright sunny day. By the way, go ahead and leave a comment if you or somebody you know purchased a solar panel system only to find out later that there was no emergency backup power during the blackout. Now, when we talk about battery storage options for a solar system, there's a number of different battery chemistries available. Um, going back to the old lead acid batteries, the flooded batteries where you literally had like liquid battery acid uh, moving around inside the battery. Uh, then to the AGM batteries, which was more of a sealed, but it was still a lead acid based chemistry. And then more recently, we have the, the two popular lithium chemistries, the NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, as well as the LFP, which is the lithium ferrule phosphate or lithium iron phosphate. Now, as I'm recording this today in February 2024, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry is considered the current state of the art. Uh, it's stronger, it's more durable, uh, it runs cooler, so it's safe for indoor use, and it doesn't require any sort of maintenance like the old battery chemistries do. Another thing you're gonna wanna consider is do you want to use a modular battery inverter where you might have an inverter from one company paired with a battery from a different company? Um, or are you looking at more of an all-in-one solution? You know, one of the trends that we're seeing this year is this sort of convergence of everything onto one platform, your solar, your inverter, your battery, your load control, your monitoring app. Um, a number of the top inverter manufacturers are offering all-in-one solutions now. Uh, and then of course, we have got a number of battery options that have come onto the market in the last year as well. In fact, if you haven't seen our pre previous video, go back and watch our previous video on uh, how to choose the best solar battery. It'll give you an idea of some of the options that are available on the market today and some of the pros and cons of each. Well, folks, this has been a brief discussion of does solar power work when the power goes out? Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the solar surge videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Um, that way, as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed so that you can stay up to date with us. Also, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar power options for your home, um, maybe you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a couple of quotes, but you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. As always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can either set up a call with a solar expert or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.